Today we're going to talk about form closure and force closure. Why are they important, you ask? Because that is what holds you together as an athlete. Hey you all, welcome back to Stability Wad. Here I am again in my car, desperate times, driving around on a busy day, trying to put out some content. And this is the only chance I have today, so thanks for tuning in. Um, I, uh, I want to share just a story today, more a story than a, an exercise about a client I worked with this week who uh, talks about hypermobility and she knows she has hypermobility, put that in quotes, uh, because her joints are very loose and they move a lot and she has some family history of this and it's something that she's sort of always thought about, always kind of worried about, you know, is that a problem that my joints are hypermobile? And I think it's important to make the distinction between hypermobility and stability just because someone is really loose and they have a lot of flexibility in their joints doesn't necessarily mean they're unstable. They might have the muscle control to be able to deal with that excessive mobility through that full range of motion. So just because you're hypermobile doesn't mean you're dysfunctional or you have to worry about having problems. Now, we have two different types of, uh, types of closure in our bodies. And by closure, I mean two different ways we're held together. One type of closure is called form closure, which is the integrity of the joint. These are the ligaments and the connective tissue and the fascia. These are the passive structures, really the, the bony anatomy. These are the passive, passive ways that we're held together. These aren't contractile tissues. They're tissues that have a certain amount of integrity, tension to them. And while they wind up and change tension as we're moving through space, they don't necessarily actively hold us together. Then there's something called force closure, which is more how our muscles hold us together. And this is when we when we get into talking about stability, um, we really get stability from both tissues. But I've been spending a lot of time talking about the force closure, about how the muscles perceive our movement, whether the small muscle systems can control the movement um, at a micro level, and whether the big muscles can control the movement at a macro level uh, to help assist the more passive soft tissues, the form closure tissues, to hold us together. And they really work together, they're part of a larger system. Now with mobility, um, you can also work on both of those tissues. So you can certainly work on mobilizing joint capsules, ligaments, fascia, connective tissues. You can work on the form closure tissues mobility-wise, just like you can work on the force closure soft tissues mobility-wise. So as people spend time in the CrossFit gym, they spend time in the gym with their trainer getting very strong in their body. They learn how to not only control movement to have more joint stability over time, they can also reduce their hypermobility as things start to tighten up. Uh, ligaments can tighten up, joints can tighten up, the fascia probably mostly can tighten up and that's not always a bad thing for people that are really hypermobile especially if their preference is to do something like CrossFit over something like rock climbing dancing and yoga where it's actually helpful to have a little bit less form closure to have a little bit more hypermobility in the system thanks for tuning in to stability wide today I think I'm gonna focus on my driving it's starting to rain there's a little traffic and this is probably not the best idea in the world but again desperate times uh, if you like what you saw today, please click the like button, leave me some comments about the quality of my driving or the quality of my video content, and uh, as always, take a second to subscribe. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.